in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Rallies Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the host, known here on YouTube, Daily Motion, Vimeo, and don't forget to friend us as Sheshaw Tenobeta on Facebook. I am the mighty, 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 uh, and your snub number seven, your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I am sure that at one time or another, perhaps in the last few minutes, as human beings and on a personal, individual level, we have suffered hurt and pain. And when we are hurt, when we feel pain, when we are sad, we feel sorrow, when we are grief stricken, when we feel or become depressed, it is a very agonizing feeling. And out of that depression, out of that sorrow, out of the sadness, out of that hurt and pain can come great anger. And that anger is usually directed toward those or he, she that caused us to hurt. Many of us attempt to, in our right state of mind, we try to direct our hurt, the anger derived from that hurt and pain towards that which caused the hurt and pain. Some of us when we hurt, we take it out on those who love us. Such as the case in scriptures with the one called Jesus Christ. Much hurt and pain was taken out on those who were trying to relieve that hurt and pain. Now, I want to make something very, very clear. When you are angry, when you are upset due to hurt and pain, it is very difficult to forgive that which caused that hurt because you hurt. Y'all know how it is to feel hurt. Even a little baby child can try to describe that they have been hurt. They suffered pain. And it is difficult to forgive those who hurt us. But if one shows sincere, the key is Sincere remorse, sincere, and offer sincere apology, and really show by their actions, their actions, not their talk, but if you can show by your actions that I did not mean to cause you hurt and pain, then we should even though it hurts and maybe after a little time goes by we should have the ability to give that person a second chance show forgiveness and compassion for a person who you can see in their heart is hurting just like you because they really did not want to see you suffer from this hurt and pain. So in that case, I will support and I can advocate forgiveness 
and show a compassion and a second chance to those who, although they did something to cause great pain, sorrow, they truly wish uh, 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 that they did not do this and want what is better and they want to try to do better in life although they can't they can't go back into the past and correct that hurt and pain maybe they can do something for the future but sadly in this United States of America you have a nation of people and we want to talk about our living in this Caucasian racist society. Those of you who are the descendants of slaves in America. You're living with the people who don't have true remorse. Have not offered sincere apology. But they walk around here and act like this nation done nothing to nobody. This is not about individuals. There are certain individuals that have done certain things. But I'm speaking about a nation, the United States of America, controlled by white people. The media is controlled by white people, the education system, economics, entertainment. This nation that has grown wealthy through the blood, sweat, and tears of the ancestors of those of whom are the descendants of slaves born in America. These are wealthy. Well, I'm white and I'm poor. Then you need to speak to your white brothers and sisters who are in power that did not share the wealth with you, that use you to inflict pain and sorrow and hurt upon the descendants of slaves and their ancestors. You have been tricked deceived and made a fool out of if you participate in a nation that got wealthy off the, the exploitation of dark people and you don't get nothing but they use you to oppress and exploit so your business is with them not me the hypocrites and this is what really upsets me if you don't like black folks, if you don't want to give us justice and equality, don't be playing these old games. But they want to play games with us because they think that we're silly and stupid. But little by little, those who are descendants of slaves are waking up out of this illusion of diversity, this illusion of one day. Everything gonna be fine. How many days is gonna take? We've been here for 400 years. How many days is gonna take? Usually, those who accept this silly opinion are cowards, not willing to face the enemy head on and get what's due to them or move on and roll out. This Caucasian people want us to forgive and forget. But they don't forgive and forget. Now, according to my own research, and I'm not really that much of a history buff, I've seen nowhere where white folks forgive and forget. They did not forgive Osama bin Laden. They don't forgive Saddam Hussein or Muammar Gaddafi, or any of these people they call their enemies. They latch on like a bulldog or a pit bull and don't let go. But then when it comes to black people, they come to us, forgive and forget, move on. But they have never done it. You have Caucasian people right now that did not live during the Civil War upset because the South lost. I 
I've heard it with my own ears. I've heard white people talk about they lost to America in the Revolutionary War. That's something I can't forgive. If America, if America was not a hypocrite and a liar and a deceiver, then they would go to Japan, of whom they had a war with, of which they really started the war with Japan. Again, more lies and deceit. But after all these years, if they really were people that lived up to this lie they tell us to forgive and forget, then they will go to Japan and tell Japan, after all these years, tear up the, the peace treaty so you can have an army, so you can protect yourself and build your army up. But see, they have not forgotten. They have not forgave. This was during wartime. That was a long, long time ago. Ain't that what you always telling black folks? That was a long, long time ago. But when it comes to you, there's a double standard. For black folks, it's a long, long time ago. But for you, it's 2012. No matter what the situation is. Anybody, show me any place where White folks forgive anybody for anything. I don't see it. But when it comes to, to you and me, the descendants of slaves, oh, forgive and forget. For there, it is a difficult thing to forgive and forget. Now, for the winner in this situation, the racist white people of America are the winners. So, of course, it'll be easy for them to say, oh, forgive and forget, because they got it all. They made all the money off free slave labor. The slave children don't get nothing. Look how just they are. They don't give the descendants of slaves nothing except talk. And the loser or the victims who suffer the injuries it is difficult to just forget when you suffer great harm and this black community, this African-American community, we are still suffering from the after effects of slavery and modern mistreatment and the injustices and discrimination that we continue to face in this white racist society. So how can we forgive and forget when there's constant things in the society that we still have to deal with? And you, liar, you have shown no true remorse, offered no true apology. You only talk, but your actions show that you are a hypocrite and a liar because you have not forgive and you damn sure have not forgotten. Because if that's the case, then you still teach your history in school. Why haven't you forgotten it? And that history of slavery is what caused all this. Your ancestors were racist, and you do not want to forget them at all. But you want us to forgive and forget. But we never knew our ancestors to forget them. What I don't like about America is the hypocrisy and we should stop and we should stop accepting this crap and embracing it because it's a bunch of baloney. These are hypocrites. They talk, but they are not sincere. Jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. This your brother Tali keep it raw. This was and is. The reality is tipple on earth.